<laughs> Sorry. All right. All right, we're back. We're back, y'all. Come on in, come on in. We'll see if we can get it right this time. This is better. This is this is good framing. I don't know why you didn't tell me you had your selfie stick with you when we first started doing this, but it's know. okay. It's okay. I, you, know. you always doing something. You talk about me. You always. What's happening, Val? Sorry, the third time's a charm. We got it. Marcia. Marcia or Marcia. I think I went through this before. I'm going to go with Marcia, Marcia, Marcia. Um, yeah, Vegas is interesting. Um, hey, April. And Crystal, y'all come on in. Um, why, actually, why do, you say that? why do I say Vegas is interesting? Uh -huh. Because it's such a dynamic, one of a kind experience of a city, um, and it has so much to offer when you kind of have a plan. Um, but it's easy to end up in your room and uh, not to not. Yo, know, you, it's so easy to end up in your room, shut the door, and go. You know what? transmissions we probably be scared to death to move is it better can you see us do we need more light what you're seeing is what's being recorded so it's... sometimes it's different when they see it um again marcia okay i got it i got it um yeah it is see can't see y'all Mar is there okay? Is there anybody else that can't see us? What's happening, Marvin? That can't see us. One person saying they can't see us. Uh 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 uh. Evelyn, you saying me neither? You two? What is she doing, Patricia? Can y'all see us? Is the question. I guess they can. Yeah, better. Latricia, how are you, Latricia? Is it Latricia? Is it Latricia or Latricia? I can't see. Chelsea hear. is saying I can hear but not see. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. See? Hey y'all, perfect. Good look looking good. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, Latricia, welcome. Welcome to the uh I after I do family. Ooh, that's good, Angela. It's good. Okay, we're gonna stay just like this. Welcome to the family. So, if you have Chicago, questions... Chicago, oh my God. I thought I was going to get to Chicago this summer. Next summer. I, I love Chicago, babe. I want to go back. I've only been twice. And it's a beautiful, beautiful town. Love it. And the food. Thank you, Val. Woo! Food is amazing. Hey, Val. Celebrating your nephews and everybody's birthday. I see y'all. That's nice. Nothing like family. Boo Stewart, hi. You have to go to the page itself. Boo, why are you saying that? What do you mean you have to go to the page itself? Help me understand that. Um, if we, we see you, no comments. Hmm. We see in here, y'all. Thank you, Nicole. Um, I don't see nothing. Jesus, I don't know why it's working for some people and some people it's not. That's very odd. What's good, Michelle? I see you being town. Okay, we're gonna keep going. I hope y'all can hear us. Hey, Michelle, y'all, y'all got an awesome mayor. Marty Walsh is really impressing me. Um, you know, with everything he's doing out of Boston and the voice Stay that he has representing yeah. representing the um the city of Boston. That's big. That dude should really um look to do some bigger things in politics. We kind of really need a voice I like his. That. Um, the mayor. Yeah. Okay. I got him. I'm so behind on my current event. Thank you for telling your friends about us. Um, who is that? Oh, oh, it's Sonia Renee. I'm trying to host millions trying to, of people. Yeah, well, you're internet. trying to make something happen on the road. I mean, we do the best we can. Hey, everybody. Let's try to log it out. Like, okay, so that's a good thing. If you can't see or hear, try logging out and logging back in. That's we can hopefully... see and hear very well. All right. Well, let's get going then. Lori. <laughs> Well, let's get going then, God dang it, while we got it. It's being interrupted. And, you know, you have to understand we're in Vegas. It's a lot of people on the internet. You know, it's just getting interrupted, I guess. Broadcast interrupted. Ah, oh, horrible. 
Tanya, you said you never catch us live, never ever. Well, guess what? Today, today is today. your lucky day. <laughs> Freezing broken. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Crazy. Hi from Houston. Oh, how you doing in Houston? I guess you're not affected. Like, what's going on? What's the latest? Houston is devastated. Houston is really. I'm praying for Houston. I continue to pray for Houston. It's it like sometimes so bad on the news. you have no idea what these things like. They give you a version of it when you watch the news, but you right. can't even imagine it unless you're on the ground. And so I can only imagine what it's really like in that city right now. So, right. um, so I hope you all are having a wonderful, incredible Labor Day, Labor Day weekend. Are you all grilling out today, or what are you doing to celebrate Labor Day? Some, you know, you get some rest. Take that extra day to rest. Michelle, you said, how are we adjusting with Royce away? Mm, I think we're adjusting okay. Yeah, I kind of push it to the back, keep myself busy. It's only when I'm alone in the house and I go in his room and I'm like, oof, then it hits me. But if I'm at work, I don't, you know, he texts me at work. I'm like, I can't talk. So I really... It, the, it'll the next month will really tell because I'll be off before my next gig um, and being home and being in his room and packing him a box or two to send to him. It may be, you know, it may hit me then. But right now he's doing good. Who's Ross Ross? OK, no, I thought it was Ross. Stop. What is wrong with you? You Just seem like going. he was bending in my, my arm. I mean, my leg. You need to pull up? I don't. Oh, okay. go ahead. Um, so time will tell. Right now, pretty good. I talked to him enough. Everything seems to be good. He's doing well. So it's only been two weeks. Um, yeah, it's obviously different because Royce is such a huge personality um, in the house. And so you definitely notice that he's missing. But he's doing his thing. So we're excited for him. That's really at the end of the day. It's like you got to let them go off and do their thing so that they learn. I'm sure... We'll figure out a way to get him home for what's coming up, Thanksgiving. And, uh, you know, so we'll we'll try to get him on camera when he's back. Yeah, I'm not excited. But when I was there, it wasn't even on my radar. Every parent I met in the bookstore or walking at a cafe or whatever, they were all like, see you um, homecoming. I'm like, is that a thing? They were like, it is more parents that participate in homecoming than the children. I yeah. was like, what? So all the alumni from 20, 30 years ago, they descend on Howard. Like, it's their homecoming. They're like, these are new newbies. This is about us. So I was like, good to know, but I don't know if I'm going to make it this year. So I'm even impressed. So enough. wait, I'm sorry. To answer your question, Ross Ross, you said we keep coming across your feed. You said, who are we? April Watkins right there to the right. I'm Royale Watkins. We are a married couple we do this platform called after i do you know it's interesting because i don't take into account the fact that sometimes our videos get shared it'll pop up on somebody's page and they have no idea who we are and they just go well what why am i watching y'all so we we do this platform called after i do we've been married for 18 years we've been together for 24 going on we have a son named ross so when you came on ross ross i thought you were my son ross we have a 16-year-old named Ross. So there you have it. That's the quick. What we'll do is we'll try to, at some point, put up a introductory video introducing ourselves, introducing ourselves to, to new followers because I guess that's important. I would be the same. Like, who the hell are these people if you just but popped up on my feed? While we're on. What? The introductory video? Mm -hmm. It won't. But we just pin it to mm -hmm. the top of the page so if people are curious. Oh, I see what you're saying. They could yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. Got it, got it. Thank got you, it. Anthony Floyd. Yes, welcome to Vegas. It'd be nice if that welcome came with some spending money. <laughs> um, you know, it, I'm don't, the interesting thing is that I no longer gamble. I used to. I don't think I had it bad, but I reached a point where I just realized, like, this is just a waste. Yeah, I don't gamble like that. I have no pleasure in it. Hey, I do, Brown. I want my money. Because after I lose, then I'm hot. I'm like, man, I could have bought me something, you know? Yeah. Uh -uh. You can always think of something better with that money when you lose it. Right. But when you win it, well, you're pretty damn excited. Yeah. Hey, Jennifer. The odds aren't in my favor, though. No, the odds are never in your favor if you're gambling against the casino. Yeah. No, thank you. 
no thank you so this one went out for breakfast left me here i did some yoga stretching i mean i'm back i know we had the 30-day challenge so what i did was i ate better um now for the next 30 days i plan on doing more yoga hitting the gym and really getting some inches off so i'm excited about that but i stretched this morning I'm telling you guys, I know you think stretching guys, what's is not important. You have to stretch. I was not feeling good this morning when I woke up because I hurt my knee somehow at work and it just has not been right. And when I woke up, I could barely walk and I was like, you know what? Let me put a towel down. Let me get into my baby pose. Let me get into downward dog. Let me do some stretches. And within 20 minutes i was able to walk my knee felt better because it's all about stretching my quad muscle it's so tight i went to a, um what did i go physical therapist and my muscle is so tight in my leg and i i, I don't have time to to stretch it so i took some time this morning 100 percent better so i know i have to stretch so i have to figure out my life once i start back working how to maybe get up a half hour to 45 minutes earlier take my shower or stretch, then take my shower, then start my day. I don't get up until the last second, jump in the shower and leave. So I have to be cognizant to stretch. I mean, stretch. You have to stretch. Maybe yoga or find something on YouTube, but it goes a long way. I know people want to go to the gym and you want to run and you want to do that, but if you can't touch your toes, it's not good. Well, you, you sound like you're keep, talking to me. You have to keep your limbs and your muscles you know, flexible and, you know, just able to, to bend down and hey, pick Lakita. up a spoon or whatever. I know we think it's like, oh, how important can it be? It's very, very important. So I just wanted to report that. I'm feeling good. I lost at least an inch. I feel you can see it in my face. So now I plan on kicking it up a notch. I'm home. So I'm going to be making my almond butter. I'm going to be making, I bought some jackfruit. So I have some recipes it's about to go down, so I'll share a few of those uh, videos with you once I get it nailed. Um, no, I was just saying, let's do a yoga challenge next. Um, Ooh, and that's so. Hold on, Naj was saying, be careful dry stretching. Um, right. She said, try to you know make sure you do warm ups first so you don't hurt yourself. Right, right. That's true. I mean, Teresa I, Maxwell was. I happening? had no choice. I had to ease into it because. I just can't. I can feel like I don't want to pop anything. So to your point, when I say I ease into it, I ease. I'm like a day, like a little baby. Everything hurt. I go really slow. Kind of like when you go to the park. Have you ever seen Tai Chi in a park? And you're like, why are they going so slow? If you've ever tried it, I've tried it once. It's amazing. They go slow for a reason to get the muscles time to acclimate to what the pose is going to be actually i'm going to probably take a class and hopefully royale can because it's right by my house they're out there like every morning i'm going to have him videotape me out there with the old chinese people and they can do they can run laps around me so that's another thing i want you to try with me more yoga tai or tai chi tai chi okay hey trina so davis well. But it works. She feels so good. I don't know if I can run. That's the thing. I would love to run, but I got to crawl before I run, as they say. I literally have to stretch and get everything loose before I go out there and hurt myself. So, agreed. It is all about health, wealth, and well-being. And I think fitness fits into that formula. Yeah. Uh, I think you want to live a long and healthy life. I think the... Um, the more you exercise, the more health conscious you are, the uh, the less prone you become to having to take medicine when you as you age and get older. I think these hospitals and these doctors, all of that shit is just a, a way of, of draining our pocket. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it's something that I'm trying to pay way more attention to. I'm trying to be more conscious of, of what I eat. Um, uh, trying to be more conscious of being uh, is like getting some physical activity in it minimum five days a week but uh if i can seven days a week that's really good like minimum gonna, five that's too much pressure on myself so if i can do three to four i'm winning because right now i'm doing zero 
So if I can do, just count my weekends as two, you know, Saturday and Sunday got to count. If I can get Brian two Walker was good. in during the week, yo, I would be winning. I would be winning. I have to get that lazy mentality out my head because there's no reason why, even if my call time is 5 a.m., if I get my butt to bed and get up at 3, 3.30, and do some stretching or whatever the activity is. I have to Thank you, Trina. make it a part of my livelihood. Like it's it's my life. It's not a game. I have to figure it out. And mentally, when you're lazy and you're um, when you're mentally lazy, it will stop you from doing everything. So you have to realize how important it is for you to exercise and be healthy. So um, I'm cognizant. I get it. Is it hard? Yes. But um, I'm going to fight through it. That's all I can say. I have to because after stretching for maybe a half hour, I feel extremely good. So I can't imagine me being able to do that four times a week, maybe five. I'd be in great shape. Not in bad shape, but I would be in better shape. All right, I don't know who that was just now or a little bit ago that asked if there are pictures of me in April from when we first started dating. There actually is, we have a site up right now, afteridotv.com. If you go to afteridotv.com, you'll see a couple of photos that we put up uh, from the early days when we first. We don't look much different because my hair was short, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, I it was, it was. short. Because yeah, yeah. I go through short, long, short, long, and a lot of the pictures when we first met, I had short hair. April really Coleman sure. is asking, do we get flu shots? I'll let April respond to that. Never. He gave my baby a flu shot, Royce, about four years ago. I literally lost my mind. So tell him why, though. Explain why. I know. just feel like <clears throat> if you do the right things, this is just my logic. I wash my hands. I do the best that I can. I feel like I have a better shot of not getting the flu than getting the vaccine. I don't know what's in the vaccine. I don't trust the vaccine. I've known so many people that get the vaccine that wind up getting the flu because from what I read, they put actually some of the flu um, part, what is it? Um, medicine in the flu so you can be able to fight it, which I guess it makes sense for all the um, uh what is it? Immunizations you get. I believe there's a bit of it. So if you get the chicken pox, I think they put a little bit of the antibodies. Maria, in it. you're welcome. Go ahead. You know, to help fight it. But too many of my friends that get the flu shot wind up with the flu. I don't get the flu shot. And not well, the flu shot gives you a bit of the flu. The, the theory is that it gives you a bit of the flu, which will make you sick in order to have your body. Um, uh, be able to yeah, yeah, be able to fight against uh, like the full on attack of it. Yeah, so I don't know. It would be nice to know if we have any nurses or doctors following the platform that can speak uh, more intelligently or with a little bit more information. I don't believe I may have gotten the flu shot. I don't think I've ever gotten the flu shot. Because like I'm just Duffy not was with good. It. I know Royce did because Royale was talked into it by a doctor, so he gave Royce the flu shot. And Royce was more sick than anybody that's... I don't know if it was actually the flu, but... He seemed to have a cold more often than anybody else. I, knock on wood again, have not gotten the flu. I don't get a flu shot. I, I'll take my chances if I get the flu. Okay, hold on. So Carmen Brown, I'm going to assume you have your name backwards. So Carmen, you're saying, yes, you are a nurse. So oh. what is, Carmen, help us out here. What is the actual deal with the, uh, the flu shot? Yeah. Educate us. Because I always feel like, you know, doctors, they make money off of um, strange, off the, these, these shots. And so they'll come in as a doctor that we're dealing with right now. And as soon as he walks in that door, the dude just starts recommending shots. It's like, why are you it's like there's got to be a more holistic approach to some of this stuff. So Carmen Brown, weigh in, please. And let us know what the oh, OK, these strains. So it seems like every time Royale takes. It tells you you need something. I think you need to do some research, you know. The, they're not God. They, they of course, help us. Shout out to all the great professional doctors and the people that are really out there to help you. But there's so many These people. These strains get inside your cells and mutate. Yes, you get symptoms. Yeah. Um, you know, just don't, if you do grab the pill, once you get home, do the research. What can you do? You know, it may say, 
um, precautions this, but you know, counter, if you were to, to jog or uh, exercise or do something, you might be able to get off of this medicine. Like you got to read the, the good and the bad, you know, every medicine is not good for you. I just think they're loading us up with unnecessary medicines at times because we're lazy and we're just, okay, um, so, we're okay. Like, so Carmen says she doesn't take shots and the doctor she does don't take shots. So I think there you have it right there. I, I'm not taking and it. the doctors and the nurses ain't taking shots, then why should we be taking them? Mm -mm. Uh, I just think there's so much to learn and so much to be uh, a weak in your immune system. system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there's so much to be it. understood and we have to do the research. I think by default we, we go, oh, well, it's the doctors, the doctors know best. Well, the doctor's also in line to get money. That's how they make a living. So you have to know what's best for you first and be able to at least educate yourself to educate the point where yourself. you can ask the right questions and challenge. I think that's one of the things that we've gotten better about is challenging any healthcare professionals or any other professionals that we do business with. Yes, pharma is about profit. Right. Exactly. So... Their thing is to try to sell you medicine. They are drug dealers. Doctors, in some regards, are drug dealers. Yes, they, they are. They were effective, but we eat so much better. We right. eat much better now. I think we eat worse now. I think the no, food. I mean, she might be talking about her family. Oh, uh, okay, Carmen. If that's the case, then I stand corrected. But I just think the overall quality of food uh, today is much worse than it was years ago. I'm sure and most that's people why agree. The big pharmaceutical companies and the government go after just regular you know mom and pop holistic places because when the knowledge gets out there that you only like sickness is in the food it's a threat to their money so when you right really here. think about it if you eat better i promise you you will probably feel a whole lot better and be able to come off some of those medicines but you have to Again, it's the lazy mentality. I'd rather just take a pill and eat what I've been eating versus stopping, getting educated, and eating better. You go back and doctors say, guess what? Your blood pressure's down 15 points or whatever. You'd be surprised. Why don't you just challenge yourself? Do more research. Eat better. Exercise how you can. If it's just walking, I mean, it's really simple, but we are very lazy in general. Lazy, lazy, lazy. Don't want to do the research. Believe everything that the the commercials and doctors say. And these are people that are getting a kickback. You have to understand that. Like they want to be able to prescribe you a six month uh, medication for high blood pressure instead of saying, "Hey, if you stop eating pork and maybe run a lap or two, it'll do the same thing as all these synthetic. They're not natural. They're synthetic. They're horrible for you." So, um, Verlene is asking, what do you think about HPV shots for your sons? Let's answer that question. It's a good one. Well, what's her name? Verlene. Verlene. Ver. Verlene. I, I want to have a good time in Vegas. And I don't want to <laughs> punch him in the eye. Sure. Because here's the thing. I didn't graduate from Stanford, Yale, or any one of the big top Ivies. But what I do have is good motherfucking common sense, okay? I have great common sense, and especially for my family. Commonsense.com. That's what y'all should call me. This one, he's smart. He book smart. But when it comes to thinking about things in the moment, sometimes he's a little lax. And the other day, three weeks ago, I sent him very specifically get Royce this shot, this shot, and this shot in order to go to Howard. That's what they needed. And I was okay with it. Tetanus shot, you're around different people I get. Um, what was the other one? Um, mono shot, kissing, and whatever the case may be, food, I get. HPV, not on my list. Not Didn't call me. Didn't stop to think about it. After the fact, tell me, yeah, I got Royce's HP, HPV shot. I'm at work, I promise you, my whole head just started hurting. I couldn't even think. I had to step away, tell my set partners, look, I need to step away. Because I don't understand, even as a married man, we're a team, 
how you can make that decision by yourself. You don't even know what it's for, what it's about. But again, the same doctor that wanted to give my 16 year old last week because he broke what up. What do you mean? I don't know what it's for. I do know what it's for. But you, we've never discussed it. It's not. Oh, well, you can say we didn't discuss it, but I do know what it's for. But he's him telling you is to, you know, he's having sex on no, college no, no, or whatever. No, no. That's not... I think he more convinced you. We've never talked about it. We've never talked about it, but I'm aware oh, of the wait. HPV oh. shot. You know what I mean? It's like, and I'm interested now, Carmen Brown, what do you think about the HPV shot? So long story short, he decides oh, just like good. the other time I sent yeah, him I make to a, get, I, make a, uh, I sent him to get Royce another shot. I forget what it was for. Um, It might have been another tetanus shot when he was younger and he was at CVS. Oh, they wanted to give him a flu shot. So I gave him a flu shot. Why? Why? How, why? Why? Did you get a flu shot? No, but you gave Royce a flu shot. Like, it makes no sense to me. He doesn't stop and think. He's going so fast. And you're talking about us listening to the doctors. You're listening to this doctor and saying, instead of saying pause, it wasn't a life or death shot that he needed in that moment. You should have paused for a second. Hey, let me talk to my wife so about wait, it. So wait, hold on. So Winter, you're saying you would have had a fit. You're saying him his first round of HPV that he HPV I don't feel like he needs it. I work in the healthcare field on pathology trying to get vaccinated is so important. So now you have somebody that say they work in it. It's important to get that vaccinated. Oh they're going too fast. Yeah I know but what you need. Which one um, I'm wondering if Carmen ever answered it because it was um a delay. I don't know if That's she answered we oh so. wait 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 she HPV is real nasty. It does not clear. It does not clear. Okay. So wait, let's see. I'm not. Which males are curious for HPV and would Who never is? know they had it and could spread. Males. Uh mm huh. -hmm. I have seen a lot of women and men with this disease. It is nasty. Okay, I have to admit, I made my son get it. Okay, I have been preaching for years about safe sex, but you just can't tell them. Okay, interrupting again. Certain strains of HPV cause cervical cancer. Well, you damned if you do, damned if you don't. I don't know about that one. I just would have talked about it some more before you got him his first shot. Most schools will not admit children who are not. Yeah, but there's a you way can sue the school it. system though. You can sue the no. you can sue the school system. I don't think that. Like the They'll government time, man, mandating, you, yeah, yeah. There's a way. There's a way you can you can get around. I have tons that. of girlfriends that are so vegan, hey, and holistic. The kids have never had shots. They don't have any problems. They have gone on to the college. The school system cannot they force cannot, you to correct. get immunization shots. That's something. It's that, just a way around it. Yeah. Um, but if you say in this is your religion or whatever. You have to have the paperwork or um, something in writing to show them. You can't just show up to school and say, oh, I have no vaccination and I'm not vegan or whatever. This is our family values. You have to have either vaccinations or something to prove that it goes against your every fiber in your, your religious being or whatever. And they have to honor that. So that's the something. The you YouTube calls paralysis on a couple of kids. Okay. What so happened? there's some, she's saying, look up, look up. Uh, I guess the H HPV shot on YouTube is caused paralysis um, on a couple of kids. Here's the thing, and then when Royale does stuff like that, you know, he doesn't fight me, but you really didn't apologize. You didn't say, my bad, I should have checked with you. And I think the first time you gave him the flu shot, I was like, we can't listen to what they say at that moment and give them whatever they suggest unless, unless it's a life or death situation. You always have time. If we're going to go to the flu shop, we could go back next week. Like, it it didn't need to be done in the moment. And that's the thing with the HPV. We don't know enough. So, therefore, I would never put my child, grandchild, anybody else's child in that moment unless it was like an EpiPen or something to save their life. I would not have done it in that moment. And for you, you know, I don't want to say it's your track record, but you seem to just go ahead and do it and then tell me about it afterwards. And I think that's unfair. So, you did ask me last week during the eclipse when Royce Ross broke out with a rash. He so you can't be a doctor that I met two minutes ago and tell me 
you've never seen my child before. Now, my regular doctor would have said it. He has a history with Ross. He has his records from when he was five. And this, based on these notes that I've taken, he may need this. I'll take that from him. But somebody, we just walk in for the first time. Oh, he has a rash. How about a hormone shot? Not on my kid. Sorry. So Royale did not do it. And it was a great thing. But, you know, I think it would have caused, you know, a serious serious dialogue in the house like you you can't take them to the doctor no more because you just don't you know it just you you're not taking your time well look i, I think that along with health and, and and well-being in our community we need to get better we need to, to share more resources and information about all of this stuff about shots about immunization about what your legal rights are across the board. We just need to be better um, about sharing information and, and to gain better access to what's what makes sense and what doesn't. Right. Yeah, knowledge is power. I mean, if we all came together like a village and shared the information in, you know, eight right, exercise, we would be so powerful. And pulled our resources. This is a, mean, this is a gentleman. A powerful group of individuals, name, but we just something Anderson. Not on the right of Cloud court. Anderson. Power Nomics. I saw a video that this brother. Oh, I just Cloud Anderson. Look him up on YouTube. Power Nomics. It talks about pooling our resources to build wealth in our communities and what that looks like. So again, like. Ultimately, this is where we hope to grow this flat platform so that we become a resource, not just some videos that April making donuts and us being funny or doing some cute stuff, but to be a real resource um, uh, and a destination for information for our community, for people uh, that need this information. That's true. Hey, Patricia. It's so much work that I, I mean... I get overwhelmed, but here's the thing. If the ball starts rolling and one person helps another person and another person helps another person, it could start a movement, you know? I look at, like, I'm out, I have this whole view of Vegas right now, and I'm just like, that's that's the world. If people would just help one another and quit the hate and just, it could be a beautiful place, but it's just... It's so much work to be done and we have to just, you just have to do your part. That's all I can do is do my part and prayerfully it will be a, you know, a ripple effect. Like, a, like everybody will just join in, not only for my, my goals or what I have in mind or my vision, but just to be. It's so much pressure. I get it. But the kid didn't ask to be here, and it's just like, put that down. And, you know, I just think there's a better Vax, way. Black kids have been targeted. It's on YouTube. So there's a documentary. All right, Lakita, we'll look that up. Mm -hmm. um, a documentary called Vaxed. Well, they've always experimented on us as a community first. Mm -hmm. They've always experimented on us first. Oh, Lakita, she sent Royce a card. We, we got a thank you card coming from him. He's going to get it all together. Thank you. She sent a card no, to the no, PO box. Exactly. I appreciate you. I already we've already spoken. That meant the world. But yeah, it's um, you know, it's a lot of work, and we're not gonna. Put in the correct email address. So um, wait, wait. Somebody said I'm a mental health nurse. Let's I want us to see. Mental health nurse, we still do look behind. We it comes to our mental health. We all still do look behind. So think that oh, but imagine how they treat us with mental health. Oh, mental health is oh my god, we're so far behind when it comes to mental health. But here's the thing: we have a hundred and seven thousand people following us on this platform. 107,000 people are following myself and April on this After I Do platform. If we can get 100,000 people to give us their email address so that we get this newsletter and I start reaching out to people that are professionals in their um, fields. So Carmen Brown, if you write a quick blurb on, on vaccinations, 
right? And we go through, edit it, and, 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 and make sure that it's all of the information is what it's supposed to be. Imagine what that information can do for somebody who's struggling trying to figure out whether they should vaccinate their child or not, right? Right. If, if we have somebody who is a personal trainer and somebody who's a nutritionist, uh, imagine how powerful the information can be for somebody who's struggling with their weight and weight loss. So again, what April and I are trying to build is a platform that becomes a resource for information and entertainment, not just entertainment, but the two combined, information and entertainment, so that we we really can do something that's uh, just bigger than just making videos, uh, you know, a couple of times a week. So that being said, um, we got to get to lunch. Um, I would like to go to the pool. I would like to enjoy this Vegas experience. Mm -hmm. um, but we yeah, just wanted just to log in today because I haven't had April uh, available to, to go live. But we will be going, let's see, tomorrow is Monday. We're back tomorrow. If we're around, we got work to do. But I think we should challenge ourselves to try to go live at lunchtime. We'll be flying. I'm, no, no, I'm just saying every day this week when we're oh, back. Oh, okay. Yeah, Every day this week when we're back. Okay. All right. So, excuse me. Um, all right. So, we're signing off for now. You guys enjoy the rest of your labor. Day. Go to after I do TV.com and sign up for the newsletter. Tell your friend. If you can, when we post these videos, just make sure you hit the like button, leave a comment, and hit the share button if you feel so compelled. Uh, we appreciate and we love each and every one of you. Y'all be safe and we'll talk to you soon. All right. Um, all right. Later.